In this video on XYZ Mesh, we are going to be going over a feature that was requested by a customer, the Paraboloid feature or the Paraboloid input. And as I mentioned, that was a specific request by a customer. So I just wanted to point that out because we do actually listen to our customers and something that you would like to in have included in our software, just send us an email. And if we think that it's viable and we can actually include it in a decent timely manner, then we will are more than welcome to include whatever features that are requested. So let's go ahead, jump into XYZ Mesh, and we will go ahead and look at this new feature. This new feature is available in the Options and Palabroid Input. Inside of here, you're going to see several options for input, and I'm just going to go ahead and randomly put in some inputs for us so we can see. And we're going to have the AB1 in as 10 and the minimum and maximum as negative 2 and 2. So what these settings do, the minimum and maximum decide at what points you want the minimum and maximum to be, and it's going to generate all the data points that it needs to create a mesh or a grid format for the Palabroid inputs. Now the settings down at the bottom, you have a convex or a concave, depending on what you need. You also have the ability to do surface integral calculations, which is a little bit extra calculation added into the Palabroid settings. You can plot data automatically, which means that it's automatically plotted for you in XYZ Mesh. Now, if you turn the plot data off, then typically it generates things a lot quicker. And sometimes if the data is really large, then it's not ideal to actually plot it in XYZ Mesh. For instance, if you're dealing with multiple million data points, you might just want to consider converting that over to clipboard or into a text document. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and plot the data as normal. And you also have the ability to convert to mesh. Now, if you want to automatically convert this to a mesh inside of XYZ Mesh, you can just click convert to mesh. If you have the plot data turned on, it will automatically plot the mesh for you. If you do not have the plot data turned on, then it will go through and it will convert all the XYZ data that you make as a Palabroid into a mesh format that you then can either copy to a clipboard with this selection or export to a document. Now I'm going to turn off the convert to mesh for this example because I'm going to convert it in XYZ mesh on its own. And you also have these options at the bottom for exporting. So you can include the header. You can also include a total Z value, which will calculate all the Z values up together and give you a sum of all the Z's, which is a feature that was requested after this was implemented. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and plot the data. So with this data, it should give us a total of 1600 rows, as well as a 40 by 40 grid once it's converted. So let's go ahead, export. And as you can see, we now have the XYZ values going down. It should be 1600 total. And it looks like it's about that. And you can see that all the values are there and available. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this to an Excel mesh. And it should be a 40 by 40 grid whenever it's done. Okay, so it's a 41 by 41, which is including the column headers. So that is correct. It's a 40 by 40 grid. And now I can go ahead and export this into Excel like we would normally do. All right. Thank you all very much. I hope that this video was helpful. And if it was, consider subscribing to the channel and possibly try out XYZ Mesh because the free version does have a lot of features in it. If you are interested in something like this, consider purchasing the full version. Links are in the description down below. Thank you all and have a great rest of your day. Hi, I'm Kyle, owner and operator of Great Technical. Thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot, and it lets me know that the content I'm making is stuff that you all like to see. Go ahead, leave us a comment as well. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future. I would also like to say that being a 
company owner, I am very proud to be able to support businesses and students. I am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators. So if you have a content platform, you make videos, or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content, or if you would like to review some of our products, go ahead and send me an email. My email is right here, support at greattechnical.com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.